What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're answering the most common question I get asked during lessons, and that is how to practice your pentatonic scales. So let's go. So how do I practice pentatonics on the instrument? How do I go from having a good level of confidence with the major scale to having that same level of confidence with major and minor pentatonic? And that's the goal of today's video. Understanding what makes major versus minor pentatonic as opposed to just giving you all, you know, here are some very stock phrases that encompass the two scales, you know? We'll take it from the very beginning of foundation and then go for major and then look at minor pentatonic. So with that being said, let's be in the key of A for today's video. Dead center in the fingerboard. Notes in the key of A major being A, B, C sharp, D, E. F sharp, G sharp, A. Before going into pentatonics, in a perfect world, I would love to have you all be very confident with your caged shapes. Even though we're just looking at major scale now, the caged opens up the full fingerboard by giving you five small playing fields as opposed to having one giant playing field and you getting lost. I'd rather have you be comfortable in one section or two sections, you know, rather than getting lost or overwhelmed with the full fingerboard. So quickly, that can look like this. Here's our um, G shape, A major scale, E shape, D shape, C shape, and A shape. And practice that five, ten minutes when you start playing the guitar, right? That opens up the fingerboard perfectly by the most fundamental thing, major scale. So we have our major scale. How do we get our major pentatonic? Well, let's think of pentatonic as a more slimmed down version, a more muscular version of our major scale because it's only five notes, right? And for major pentatonic, those notes will be our root, our second degree, our major third, our fifth, and our major sixth. Those notes in the key of A being A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, A. So when you hear someone like B.B. King do, That's a lot of major pentatonic, right? You know that sound, you really do. It's so, uh, you know, it's really happy sound. So that's major pentatonic. How do we practice? Well, use your caged shapes. So then you identify the five small playing fields of major pentatonic. <laughs> You know, 
one step further, maybe you combine two shapes. Right, and then you continue that for the remaining um, two shapes or three shapes, right? So that's major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. Let's go through that same building block. Here's our minor scale, if we're in the key of A minor. Notes being A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Minor pentatonic is made out of our root, flat three, four, five, flat seven, and root. A, C, D, E, G, A. And much like how we approached major pentatonic with the caged shapes, we'll do the exact same thing for minor pentatonic. And just by using, you know, caged as our base, you know, for both major and minor pentatonic, we just expanded the full fingerboard just through our caged system. Now, running those scales is very beneficial. I do that constantly. When I pick up the guitar for the first time in the day, I'm just running, you know, pentatonic scales, whether it's two, three octaves, you know, as cleanly as possible. You can also, let's say, go up major pentatonic, but then descend minor pentatonic, right? So let's ascend major pentatonic. Now we descend. pentatonic or vice versa how about that or you know we do it here they both work perfectly so that's how I would approach practicing your pentatonics. Start from the basic, which is the major scale. Identify your major pentatonic notes using caged to see the full fretboard. Same thing with minor. Identify your minor scale. Identify the notes that make up minor pentatonic. And then again, use caged as your baseline and you open up the full fingerboard for both minor and major pentatonic. Well, all right guys, that is today's video on how to practice your pentatonics on the guitar. One thing I really wanna emphasize as well, besides the practicing, is listening to these in context, you know? When you hear Clapton do the crossroads solo with Cream, the first solo is very major pentatonic, the second solo is minor pentatonic with a few tricks. When you hear John Mayer play, he's mixing the two a lot. You know, when you hear a song like Shot in the Dark off of Sob Rock, that's very major pentatonic. When you hear Stevie Ray Vaughan at Austin City Limits perform Tightrope, he's going between B flat minor pentatonic and B flat major pentatonic effortlessly. You know, so practice and listen. And combining those two together will help you vastly improve your confidence with both major pentatonic and minor pentatonic. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.